Right, this is a number theory lecture. I apologise if this is a bit different because the projector that I normally use does not fit in my room. And there's, big, there's a lot of noise coming from it. I think I'm dead, but this is on the greatest common divisor and the lowest common multiple as well. Right now, definitions as always. The greatest common divider of A and B is the largest value, say M, for which M divides A and M divides B. Some other stuff here, we've got the greatest common divider of KA and KB is K times the greatest common divider of AB. The greatest common divider of AB times the lowest common multiple, which is the lowest value that uh, for which A and B are both the factor. Um, times them together and you get AB and here this, I found this in the question it might be quite useful along the lines that the greatest common divisor of XYZ as in three of them is the greatest common divisor of DZ where D is the greatest common divisor of X and Y right now the Eleusinian algorithm this is what we use to find the greatest common divisor and I've multiplied this up with a, another example which will come along the line um, so fi first off, let's just find the greatest common divider of 56 and 72. Now what you do with the elucidant algorithm, it's best to learn from example I think. You express the largest in terms of the smallest and add whatever remainder you got left. So first off we have 72 is 1 times 56 plus 16. Now what you do is you express this value in terms of this remainder and you carry on all the way down until there is no remainder. So 56 is 3 times 16 which is 48 plus 8. Next we have the 16 is 8 times 2. Now here we know there is no remainder so the greatest common divisor is 8. Next for this part over here we have to express our greatest common divisor which is 8 in terms of 56 and 72 so let's just have our first we've got our 8 now our 8 can be expressed which we, up here as 56 minus 3 times 16 agreed? yeah? no oh. 56 minus 3 times 16 so we get an 8 on its own over this side which is what we want as the greatest common divisor now we've got our 56 which is perfect and this 316 now we can cancel this down a bit more as well because we've got 16 here so if we just have 3 times 72 minus 56 and then if you times this out then you'll get uh, this and that will give you 8 is 4 times 56 minus 3 times 72 so our x is 4 and our y is minus 3 right the Diophanty equation this is where you get an equation like ax plus by equals c and a and b are just integers here and it has a solution if d divides c where d is the greatest common divisor of a and b now given x0 and y0 as a particular solution which we'll, I'll show you how to find later then you can give the uh, final solution for all different values of t greater than 0 and less than actually um, x is x0 plus b divided by d times t and y is y0 plus a divided by d times t now as you notice the x it divides by the opposite thing so we have the b divided by d and the y is the a divided by d right an example now we're using the same example we had previously so our 56 and 72 have cropped up and from our last example we know that the greatest common divisor of these two is 8 yeah and we also solved that 8 is 4 times 56 minus 3 times 72 now this here 8 the difference between 808 is 100 so if we multiply both sides by 100 we get 800 here 400 times 56 minus 300 times 72. So our, that, that they are our particular solutions.
Yep, 400 and minus 300. So we have 400 plus, and as we said before, it's a b divided by d. Now b is this thing in front of the y, so we have 72 divided by d, which is 8. Remember our greatest common divisor. Oops, sorry. And so that's 72 divided by 8, which cancels down to x is 400 plus 9t. And here is minus 300 plus 70. And they are our final solutions.